House, House Majority Whip Tom Emmer. Congressman, it's great to see you again. Let's have you sit tight for just a, sec a second. We want you to he listen to Democrat Congresswoman Katie Porter. She appears to downplay the murder of 22-year-old Georgia nursing student Lakin Riley by an illegal immigrant. And you're going to hear Democrat James Carville insult border agents, insult border neighborhoods and states struggling with border crimes. Plus, James Carville insulted Christians. Take a listen to this. Watch. Well, I think when a horrible tragedy like, like this happens, I think whenever we're dealing um, with violent crime, there is a sense of outrage, of sadness, and of loss. But I think the important thing to focus on is any one instance shouldn't shape our overall immigration policy, which has so many different facets, including economic choices about what workers to allow in and how to create prosperity in America. The borders become a giant photo op. The border is a, one of the stations that are across now. Everybody's got to stop by there. Okay, the border is a photo op. It's a station of the cross. Everybody's got to stop by there. Show the Gallup poll today. Gallup, a congressman today, reported immigration is the top most important problem for voters at 28 percent. That's up from 20 percent just a, a month ago. Congressman Gallup says this is the first time the border and immigration has been the single most important problem since 2019. So what do you make of what they were just saying? Well, they're doing what they've uh, done from day one. They're denying what the issue is. Uh, keep in mind, this president signed 64 executive orders since he took office, essentially undoing all the great work the Trump administration did to secure our border. Uh, and for James Carville to take shots at uh, uh, people who have e extreme concerns, you, uh, Lake and R Riley's family, I, I mean, it, it's how many people need to get hurt? Liz, this uh, this border thing, it's touching every community in this country. Even in my state of Minnesota, they apprehended someone on the terrorist watch list last March and let him go. And uh, this Al-Shabaab uh, uh, guy was caught in Minneapolis just a few weeks ago. So this is a serious problem. And uh, for Democrats to equivocate uh, is outrageous. Americans are smarter than that. They know what's going on. They know who's responsible. And you know what? They're going to hold them accountable in the fall. And Congressman, you know, governors are saying that the White House is equivocating as well because Georgia Governor Kemp, he fired off another letter to the president saying you're botching the border crisis, plus you're not giving the data that governors asked for last fall. They want detailed information about who is coming across unvetted, plus where they are being relocated. The White House has not done that yet. Instead, reports are coming in that the president is not considering declaring the border crisis a national emergency. He's instead doing an election year visit tomorrow, uh, excuse me, on Thursday. Former President Trump will be going on Thursday as well. Watch President Biden here. I was planning to go Thursday. What I didn't know is uh, my good friend apparently is gone. And will you meet with migrants while you're there, Mr. President? Well, I'm not going to announce ahead of time. Secret Service doesn't like me announcing exactly. Eating ice cream, talking about the border crisis. What do you think, Congressman? pretty flippant. I mean, it's it, it's uh, sad and disgusting both at the same time. So he's going to run down to Texas for the second time since he created this crisis. Uh, and he's going to go to Brownsville. He's not even going to go to Eagle Pass, where, uh, where th the big problem is. Brownsville, obviously, is down. This is just another photo op, Liz. He's going to go down there. Uh, they're going to clean it all up for him. They're going to tell him everything's good. Look, uh, you can refer to Brian Kemp. You can refer to uh, Greg Abbott, uh, Governor DeSantis. Uh, they've all called this out. But why don't we start looking at some of the Democrats? Eric Adams in New York. You've even got Al Sharpton calling it an invasion at the southern border. Uh, this is a nonpartisan issue. There is a problem at the border that's been created by Joe Biden and his administration. Uh, and frankly, uh, Lake and Riley's blood is on his hands and Mayorkas's hands. They need to do their job and protect the American people by securing our southern border. Congressman Emmer, thanks for joining us tonight. It's good to have you back on.